Hi there. Welcome to FoxSports.com's draft coverage. I'm Laura Oakman, joined by Alex Marvez, Peter Schrager. We're talking about the Oakland Raiders. General Manager Reggie McKenzie said an interesting quote. I always love hearing the GM say the difference of I draft the player, the best player available, or the need. What Reggie said was, I think you draft the best player and fill that need down the line. They need a lot of players. They have a lot of needs. <laughs> so give me a grade on how the Raiders did, how Reggie did, as we see this new direction. I'm giving the Oakland Raiders 2013 NFL draft an A. Wow. wow. I mean, this is a team that is so behind the eight ball because of what the prior regime put them in. I mean, look, when you trade for Carson Palmer and you give up all those picks, last year Reggie McKenzie's first year as GM didn't have a first or second round pick, and his third round pick was a compensatory pick. So he told me at the owners' meetings, yeah, we had Russell Wilson really high on our board. Couldn't get him because we we're so far back in the third round. Didn't even have a chance to draft him. So what do they do this year? They have the third overall pick. They don't have a second round pick. They trade back with Miami. They get the 12th pick and they pick up that second round pick. And I love what they did both in the first round with DJ Hayden, who a lot of people said the Raiders were willing to take him third overall. They get him 12th overall, a star cornerback. Everyone talks about D Milner. A lot of teams had DJ Hayden rated just up there with D Milner. They get a star cornerback that they need. And then the second round, Menelik Watson. The kid from Manchester, England comes in. Only a few years of football experience, but he is an athletic specimen and a talented, smart kid. He's going to play for them. And then I also like Seal Moore out of Connecticut. This is a team, the Raiders, that had a lot of problems last year, salary cap issues. They've shed themselves. They've completely started anew. And they pick up three talented players I think are going to make immediate impacts. And then fourth round, they get a kid named Tyler Wilson. And the joke I made was, you know, when was the last time Matt Flynn was a quarterback and he wanted to see a kid named Wilson backing him up? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out well last year in Seattle. Maybe it won't work out in Arkansas. The Arkansas kid comes in here to Oakland. But he's a player that a lot of people like his toughness. I think he'll push Matt Flynn a little bit. This is a great draft. A for the Raiders. I got a B. And, you know, look, it's an amazing story on DJ Hayden. Let's not forget this young man was 15 minutes from dying last year after a practice in Houston. He got hit by a teammate's knee in the chest, and it ended up severing a vein in his heart, and his stomach started to fill with blood. And fortunately, they were able to go ahead, and because of the great treatment of the University of Houston medical staff, the trainers there, able to get him to a hospital and able to save his life, literally. And then you go from that. All the way now to being the number 12 pick. And like you said, they would have, he would have been potentially picked at number three. The Oakland Raiders didn't really, to me, receive the type of compensatory value for that number three pick that maybe they, they could have. Had they done this, this trade wasn't finalized until two minutes were left on the <laughs> clock. Miami Dolphins offer that second round pick. And the Raiders, hey, look, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So you, they were very desperate <laughs> to go ahead and get a, a, a second round pick, get any sort of value, especially thinking that D.J. Hayden may still be available on that board. They were going to be able to get a corner no matter what it looked like at number 12. So they weren't falling too too far back. You know, if you're a Raiders fan and the quarterback situation is such a mess, you're hoping that Tyler Wilson can avoid the same fate of mid-round picks like Andrew Walter, of Marcus Tuiasosopo, of Terrell Pryor now apparently, since he really doesn't seem to be in the plans, I think going forward, I just think that was an Al Davis pick that they're going to basically shed themselves up at some point with Matt Flynn uh, now, you know, getting all the, working with the first team. It isn't even an open competition really yeah. at this point in Oakland. So maybe Tyler Wilson can avoid that same fate. And you talked about the Oakland Raiders and the salary yeah. cap next year. The Raiders are expected to have more than $40 million available. And with a lot of teams struggling against the salary cap and so many players on one-year type contract situations in the NFL, I think the Raiders could get awfully good in free agency awfully fast in 2014, but they got to get through this season. Yeah, we talk about in Ozzy we trust in Baltimore. I think it might be time to say in Reggie we trust. I know the wins and Super Bowls haven't been there, but no, he's got a plan. No, they haven't. Yeah. No. He's got a plan. And, you know, Men League Watson, I want to go back to this guy because he's a kid who played soccer, had a very serious ankle injury when he was living in England, turned to basketball, played at Maris for a couple of years, then ends up at Saddleback, and then finally comes to Florida State where he's a star. He also had a boxing career. I mean, this is a guy who's been well-traveled. He's ready to play in the NFL. And I had him rated above Kyle Long. I had him rated above Justin Pugh. I had him rated above a lot of these guys that went before him. So I think the value there was really strong. I thought he was going to be a first-round top 20 pick. Yes. I love what the Raiders did. Give me an A. And I like what you said in terms of a plan because they don't have the wins of Super Bowls, but for so many years where we've tried to figure out what in the world they're doing, that's the one thing with Reggie McKenzie. Yep. You can see that they're in, a, they're in a direction. Well, right, but now the heat's on Dennis Allen. It is. Yeah, uh, it point. is. I mean, and look, Especially when you get a cornerback in the first round. I mean, Dennis Allen should know if this guy's the guy. And they're right. spending a first-round pick on a corner. Dennis Allen should know this is the guy. You know, it always sounds great to rebuild. It always sounds great. Yeah, we need two or three years to work our way out, and then you're 4-12 and 12 again for a second, third straight year, and the fan base disintegrates even further, and people lose patience. I 
hope that Oakland Raiders owner Mark Davis has faith in Reggie McKenzie and will allow him to see this process through, but not sure about Dennis Allen. You know, a lot of pressure on him. He made some poor hires last year. Now Tony Sperano is going to be running this offense. Do you have any confidence at all in this Raiders team winning more than four or five games? And that is a problem. So it may look great on paper right now what the Raiders are doing. That's why I give him a B. But will Reggie McKenzie be able to see this whole thing through? Can Martin, can Dennis Allen do the same? Good question. Gentlemen, thank you for the insight and thank you for watching. Make sure to keep it logged on to foxsports.com for all your NFL coverage.